Hey everyone, and welcome to the third episode of Road to Boss Cycle. At the end of the second episode, I had 5,844 total boss kills, so that's where this episode will start. This week, I decided to keep up with the fight kiln, making sure that I did at least one per day. My average time would probably be around 30 minutes, since some I try really hard on and get under 30 minute kills, and then others I barely pay attention on and finish with 31 or 32 minute kills, so it's not terrible, but the time does add up, and this requirement will definitely take me a while to finish. What was cool about doing the kiln this week is that I finished off the Jad requirement for final boss. After the last video, I was only two kills away, so I knew I would get it after one more kiln, but at least I no longer have to worry about that. Moving on to probably the main part of bossing that I did this week, which was Virago. I managed to get a lot of kills done, and also I'm excited to say that I finally saw my first seismic drop. Any guesses? Wand? Singularity? What did I get? Well, it was a singularity. Even though it wasn't a wand, I was still happy as hell because I finally got a drop from Virago. The split was 26 mil a person, which I couldn't be more happy with, since last week I actually sold my Noxious Staff and Ascensions and bought Seismics. Ever since then, all of the money that I make will be going towards Ascension Bows again, and this 26 mil split pushed me up enough to be able to afford one Ascension Bow, so that was very exciting. But continuing with the Virago discussion, this week was Purple Bomb, and it was the first time that I've ever done this phase. I learned it pretty quickly, it's not bad at all, and my least favorite phase is still Green Bomb. I just don't like Green Bomb because no matter what you do, your team can never form a square correctly. It's like first grade math class, and you're trying to put the square shape into the circle hole, it just doesn't work. Also, our bomb tank died one kill and I actually had to take over, since no one else was using Seismics, so for the first time ever, I bomb tanked at Virago. Now, I've never done this before, and I'm pleased to say that with a little coaching help, I managed to save the kill and bomb tank successfully. I probably did a thousand things wrong and ate food when I shouldn't have, but hey, I got through it. The next few things that I did this week were pretty random. I was invited to ROTS one day and also had a ROTS Reaper task, so for some reason I did 14 kills of that. I never mind doing ROTS though since it's one of my favorite bosses in the game. My team actually managed to get a pretty fast kill, which happened to be my new personal record of 1 minute and 51 seconds. It's not fast compared to record times, but I'll definitely take it for doing ROTS casually. Next I did some QBD kills. Why you might ask? I have no clue. For some reason, I just wanted to go to the QBD, and I think subconsciously I want the QBD pet. I have the KBD pet already, and what's a king without a queen? Yo, who remembers the show The King of Queens? Doug Heffernan was the man. Dude, Kevin James was hilarious in that. That show is definitely a classic. But anyways, before I get sidetracked, I did some QBD kills and managed to get a few visages, some royal crossbow pieces, and two dragon bone upgrade kits, which you might as well call floor upgrade kits, since the only place they're going is underneath my feet when I drop them. And last but not least, as a JMod event, I hosted a next mass and did a few kills just for fun, and we actually managed to get a Pernix Booch drop, which was pretty cool. The main thing with those events isn't to get drops though, it's just to have fun, which we definitely always do. But anyways, that wraps up the third episode. I finished this week with 6,045 total boss kills, which means I killed a total of 201 bosses this week. I did 53 Jad kills, finishing up the 100 kills that I needed, and totaling to 151 Jad kills. I did 14 ROTS kills, which coincidentally also brought me to 151 total kills. I killed 12 necks, bringing me to a total of 112 necks kills. I killed 99 QBDs, bringing me to a total of 241. I killed 7 Harakens, leaving me with 79 more to go. And I killed 16 Viragos, leaving me with 25 more to go. Also, I still need 65 more regular Barrows Brother kills. And I gained one new piece of the Vanquisher's armor, thanks to the 20 total Haraken kills. Now I have the legs, gloves, and boots. The next piece that I can get is the top, which I would need to kill 9 more Harakens before I could claim. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later, everyone!